This home that we're about to walk has a wide open kitchen, a living room that opens to the second story, and a massive backyard. If you wanna see a home that you can build around Austin, Texas, then stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always work with me. More on that a little bit later. Today, we're going through the 3917 plan with Perry Homes. This home has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and just like the name of the plan states, it's the approximate square footage of the home. So we're just over 3,900 square feet. We do have a four car garage. And as you'll see here, we're open to the second story when you first walk in. You'll see that in the living room as well, where we're gonna head right out to. And I do wanna mention that this specific home is not for sale because it just got closed on by my client, but you can build this plan in so many different communities around the Austin Metro and Central Texas area. So definitely stay tuned. There's a lot to walk through in this home. Even when we get upstairs, my client did a third party build out with Best Buy in their media room. So I'm gonna show you a before and after what that media room looked like. And I think you'll find it is such a big difference with what you can do, putting in speakers, painting the walls dark. It looks fantastic. And I'm excited to show all of that to you. And with that being said, big shout out to my clients. I know it's been a journey to get here, but I appreciate you allowing me to put this home on my channel and show others what's possible here in the Austin metro area. Starting off in the kitchen, I love the two-tone cabinets that they selected here. The cabinets on the island are operable, so you do have storage, which is a Perry signature. I don't see too many builders do this. And then I love the countertop that they chose here. It has some veins running through it. And then I think the backsplash that we'll see next, it ties in all the colors that they use in this kitchen together. And what I wanna circle back to is going to be the cabinet colors. So by doing a dark color on the cabinets on the island and on the lower cabinets and a light color on the upper cabinets, first, it provides that contrast that I think a lot of buyers are looking for in their kitchen. They don't just want one color. They don't want that monotone look. They want a stark contrast. And I think they accomplished that here in this kitchen. And I think by doing lighter cabinets on top, it's reflecting so much light throughout this kitchen. It feels so light and bright in here. And if you ever see my camera dim down the room, it's because it doesn't want to overexpose when it senses so much light coming in, whether it's lights from the ceiling or natural light coming in from the back wall. But I think a few times there it dimmed down the room. It's doing that because there's so much light throughout that kitchen, which I think is fantastic. Moving on, we have the pantry here, which I would say is a good size for this amount of square footage. We do have access to a dining room, which is at the front of the home. So we'll get to that a little bit later. What I wanna to get to next is the breakfast nook area. Then we'll see the living room and then I'll head outside. I'll show you the pergola and how much space is in this backyard. And there's still so much to see here. Moving on in the breakfast nook area, I love the windows that they have in here, it really opens up the space. For the patio door, it was swinging in. We asked Perry Homes if they could swing it out. It just gives you a little bit more space, I think, in that breakfast nook area. And we were happy when Perry said yes to that. They also allowed us to do some custom options here. So to back up, Perry Homes is a production builder, but I would call them a little bit more pseudo custom compared to other builders that I've represented buyers with. What I mean by pseudo custom is at the time of contract, depending on the community and the plan that you're buying, sometimes they can allow for a custom option. So the custom option we did was moving the fireplace to this wall where they did this beautiful tile that runs all the way to the ceiling. Normally this fireplace in this plan would be on the back wall. So when you walk in through the front door, the first thing that you see when you look all the way out to the back of the home would be the fireplace on the back wall. Instead, we moved it there to give us room to put in a sliding glass door. And I think this was key. It not only opens up the space in the living room where you get these great trends and windows above that sliding glass door, but as soon as you walk in the front door, your eyes just go all the way out through this sliding glass door to this huge backyard that backs up to a green belt. And that's what I think makes this home so special. Now that continues here in the backyard and this patio. First off for this patio, it feels like an extension right off of that breakfast nook living room that we just saw because of all the windows on that back wall. And they all open up to this. Now I know I said that this, this was backing up to a green belt. It doesn't look the part right now. It's pretty much just a bunch of mud back there. 
but keep in mind the developer is going to do something back there i think by the time this video gets posted they'll have like a walkway there and then something else other than just mud which is what you're seeing right now at the time my client's closing what's not shown in this video is when that walkway comes in my clients can exit through this back fence take that walkway down to a pond that's a few doors down and i can't wait for them to experience that because i know they have a dog shout out to their golden retriever milo who is loving this backyard pretty soon they're just gonna be able to walk him around just behind their home to a pond i can't wait for them to experience that i also can't wait for them to experience hanging out in this pergola now this entire street is made up of 90 foot wide lots. So that's just a general parameter of the typical width that you see at the front of the lot. Now, most of these lots on the street are between a quarter of an acre to a third of an acre. And I'll say this, there are only two lots on this street that have a pergola built by the builder in their backyard. And that just so happens to be both of my clients. So it does pay off to know what the builder is willing to do to earn business for my clients. And just to clarify, I don't work for Perry Homes. I don't work for any builders. I represent buyers when they're navigating through the market, whether that's with new construction homes or with resale homes. And I stay unbiased throughout the process. I point out the pros and the cons of all the options that are out there. Now I'll talk a little bit more about my experience of representing buyers with 19 different builders later on in the video. We'll also talk about the community that we're in later, which is called Santa Rita Ranch. And there's so much to talk about just in the community alone. But I wanna get back into the home here and talk about the primary bedroom. I love how well this opens up with the tray ceiling. The entire back wall is pretty much just windows. You have four windows across that back wall. And I think this is the dream here where if you have curtains on your back wall, you just peel back those curtains and you get this great view into your backyard and what will eventually be a pretty green belt. Now, what we have next is what I think Perry Homes does so well, and that is the primary bathroom. I love how well this space feels when you enter, where you have natural light on the right side coming in from a couple windows, you have vanities on either side. And then I love what my clients did here from a design standpoint where they ran the floor tile front to back and they ran that same floor tile in the walk-in shower vertically all the way up to the ceiling. So when you enter this bathroom, you have this freestanding tub with this very cool backsplash as the focal point. And then your eyes wanna go all the way to the opposite end of the room and then go up because of the design selections that they have in here. Now I do love how it looks when you enter this primary bathroom. I also love that when you're in the walk-in shower, you're still open to the rest of the bathroom because of this frameless glass shower. Now you do have tile all around that shower seat and at halfway up you have tile, but that frameless glass shower that opens up to the rest of the bathroom is fantastic. Now we do have two closets in this primary bathroom and I like how they keep everything separate. So on this side is a closet. We'll see another closet on the other side of this primary bathroom. And then we do have a door that leads us to the laundry room. Now, while we go through the rest of this primary bathroom, I do want to mention that the community that we're in, which is called Santa Rita Ranch, is the top selling community in the Austin metro area. And the reason why is very simple. It's a very lively, active neighborhood, so it tends to have a lot of events that get people out of their home, meeting their neighbors, meeting their community, and then it has top-notch amenities. And I know everybody talks about their amenities, but nothing rivals Santa Rita Ranch. It has uh, two amenity centers, one that has a pool, a volleyball court, half-court basketball, another one that's massive, has an on-site gym, has two slides going into the pool that are huge. And that second amenity center is massive. And what's funny is that second amenity center is on four acres, and their newest amenity center that's being built right now down the street from this home is on eight acres. It's gonna have three pools, it's gonna have pickleball courts, and it's gonna be very close by to the middle school as well as a new elementary school that's being built in the heart of the neighborhood. Now, there's gonna be a look at the laundry room that we looked at from that door on the right side that enters the primary bathroom so you don't have to lug your laundry throughout the home. And I'll just finish about Santa Rita Ranch by saying, it's such an exciting community to be in if you wanna be in that lively, active neighborhood. And I love featuring homes in this neighborhood where you can get a combination of a home like this while still being very close by to amenities that I think so many buyers are striving to be around. 
And if you stay towards the end of the video, I'll put my drone up in the air and I'll show you new lots that are available in this community, as well as the different things that I mentioned, like the new amenity center and current middle school that's here. Now getting back into the plan, on this side of the home, we have a second bedroom downstairs. I love that the second bedroom looks out to the backyard, especially when you have a private backyard like that. We have an in-suite full bathroom. So this is perfect for parents staying with you or anybody elderly that you don't want going up and down the steps. Maybe you have a new child you want staying with you on your first floor. There are so many reasons why having that second bedroom downstairs on a two-story plan is a great idea. And I think putting in the walk-in shower with this mud set tile is a great idea as well. And when I say mud set tile or mud set shower, that just means it's usually a structural upgrade that you have to choose at contract because they have to dig into the concrete to allow for tile to be in the walk-in shower so you can kind of walk down into your shower rather than walk onto a, an acrylic pan. An acrylic pan is okay. You can get grips aftermarket for an acrylic pan, but I think having that mud set tile shower is ideal. Okay, moving on, we have the dining room and the study at the front of the home. But before we get there, I wanna show you this coat closet and then we're gonna see the four car garage next. And actually right before we get to the garage, we do have a mud room area where they extended the cabinetry on this side. And then we do have a mud bench next and a four car garage. Now keep in mind the base plan for the 3917 plan usually is just a three car tandem garage. But if you buy a, a lot that is wide enough, usually you can add that third car garage bay, which is exactly what my clients did right here. Now for communities like this, if you're on a big lot, I think having that third car garage bay is a great idea. It, really adds to the curb appeal when you go to resale by adding that third car garage bay it makes that front elevation feel so much bigger if you don't do it you still have that tandem space which we just saw for storage but if you do it maybe you have guest over maybe you have three cars in here you have the space for that storage and then even if you just have two cars in here i think everybody agrees that when they move here to texas we don't have basements for the most part it's a great idea to have separate spaces for storage and putting that three car garage when you have the space for it, like on a big lot like this, it makes complete sense to do it. Moving on, we are in the dining room, which is located at the front of the home. So there's double doors on the right is the front door. And if you notice, there's now a truck out there and some equipment outside the window in this dining room. My clients were ready to go. So right after closing, we had a, a company come in and do an epoxy flooring on their four car garage. And I've actually had quite a few clients do that just in this community alone. It's the same guy. He does a really good job from what I've seen. Now we're in the study. I like how the study has these windows that look out to the front of the home, bringing in a lot of natural light, which I think is really important, especially when you're stuck in here working from home all the time. And I think if you look at this home, just on the first story alone, we have a dining room, we have that wide open living room area off of the kitchen. We have two bedrooms downstairs. We have a study downstairs. And then you still get this grand entrance with the curved staircase. And there's still a whole lot to see here. We're about to see a game room, media room, a few bedrooms. And while we head upstairs, notice the lights my client put in on the right side. I thought this was so cool. So if you have a lot of people over, somebody staying with you on the second floor and they need to come downstairs, instead of turning on all the lights, they can use that as a guide. And I also think it just looks great when the sun is down, having those lights go up the stairwell. What also looks great is when you get to the top of the stairwell, how well everything opens up with those trans and windows above the sliding glass door. You even have windows above the double front doors at the front entrance. And as soon as you walk in that front entrance, your eyes go upward looking at this circular ceiling design, perfect for a chandelier. Now, most of my buyers get their chandeliers after closing. There tends to be more options than what most builders provide. But either way, you wanna get the flow of the space because that's not something that you can change and rip down walls after market. And I think that flow is fantastic. Moving on in the game room, I like the natural light that's coming in from these windows and the tray ceiling that they continue to put throughout the home that really opens up the space and I think is very underrated. What's also underrated is pre-planning your electrical. So notice my client had a lot of electrical wiring going to that area. It's so they could hide all their devices in this part of their game room. Now off of the game room is this media room that has changed. 
there is so much to cover here and I'll just try to sum it up by saying my client put in a 9.1.4 system so there are speakers everywhere. In fact, the screen that you're seeing in front of us is perforated so there are speakers behind the screen. So from all directions, on the ceiling, behind me, on the sides, there are speakers everywhere. This is like uh, surround sound on steroids. <laughs> and then right when you enter this media room, you have the projector projecting onto that screen. So fantastic. I would love to come back here and get a recording of the sound, but obviously it wouldn't make any sense to do that because my device that I'd be recording through would be the one replaying the sound. This is something you can only experience in person. And I think it just takes that media room theater experience to the next level. And I'm sure my clients won't mind me sharing. They went through Best Buy to do that media room experience after they closed with the builder. There was pre-wiring done with the builder to make it a little bit easier to work with Best Buy after they closed. But most of it was done by Best Buy in terms of putting in the speakers, the projector, the projector screen. Uh, but I think they did a great job. And this isn't sponsored by Best Buy, but I did appreciate it attending my, the Best Buy appointment for my clients just to get insight on what buyers can do aftermarket. And I learned a lot. I know my buyers know a lot about media rooms too. They are the experts with media rooms. So kudos to them. I think they did a fantastic job. Now this is gonna be one of the bedrooms that looks out to the front of the home. This is a good look at that street here in Santa Rita Ranch that is uh, 90 foot wide lots. And then this bedroom does have a, a Jack and Jill full bathroom that's gonna lead to another bedroom, which we'll cover next. Now, while we cover this, what I wanna clarify is something I said at the beginning of the video, which is you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. And I say that in a lot of my videos because when people reach out to me, instead of trying to convince them that they should only work with me, I try to get them on the path to getting them the most value in their home search process. And sometimes that's me. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I've represented buyers now with 19 different builders just in the last two years. So the information that I have is very fresh. As these builders continue to change, I know what that change looks like and what that means for you as a buyer. Now I also do resale homes, they tend to be on the newer side, but if you do reach out to me and I think your criteria is a better fit for another realtor, then I'm always happy to connect you with that other realtor. And just to give you some numbers behind that, at the time of posting this video, we're midway through 2023 and I've had 19 closings year to date where I've worked directly with those clients, but I've also had 11 clients close with my realtor partners who I referred to them because those realtor partners were much better versed in the criteria that those clients had. So if you are looking at real estate, whether it's in the central Texas area or other areas, reach out to me. If I don't think I'm the best realtor for you, I'll find you a great realtor that can help you in your home search process. Now we still have the lots that we're gonna see. We're gonna get my drone up in the air. I'll show you around this community, Santa Rita Ranch. What we're wrapping up here with is the fifth bedroom. So there were two bedrooms that had that Jack and Jill full bathroom in between them. And then we have a fifth bedroom that has a full bathroom accessible from the hallway. Now I do have to highlight as an overview of my client's design selections, they allocated their funds really well throughout the home. And I say this for a lot of my clients, if you're gonna put money into upgrades from a design standpoint, it's best to do that in the main living areas of your home. So that's gonna be like your kitchen, the primary bathroom or any other bathrooms downstairs. As soon as you get upstairs, you can put in upgrades from a design standpoint if you really want the look, but at resale, a lot of that money's not gonna come back to you. Money's gonna come back to you at resale when the flow of your home <laughs> looks like this, where it's very open concept, has lots of windows, tall ceilings, and then the design upgrades, like I said before, are in your main living areas. Now, by the time I got upstairs, I realized that I forgot to show the powder bathroom. And that's because as soon as we got out of the study, I was so excited to show you how well this home opens up, which I think you really get a feel for when you get to the top of the steps. But that's the powder bathroom located right off of the main living area. So very good placement for that powder bath. Now, if you're interested in building this plan or similar plans, 
this is gonna be a good look at the lots that are available here in Santa Rita Ranch. Now we're in a section called the Homestead section. You might be able to see it in the distance. There is a big white building that's Santa Rita Middle School. Across from that middle school is gonna be the new elementary school in Santa Rita. Now they already have an elementary school called Santa Rita Elementary, so I don't know what this one's gonna be called. But right next to the new elementary is going to be that eight acre amenity center with three pools, and the pickleball courts and what, everything that I was talking about earlier. So I love this new section of Santa Rita. There's lots of opportunity here. And as you can tell, they are paving roads as we speak for new opportunities to build your dream home. Now I do wanna hear from you in the comments, show some love for my clients and let me know what you loved about their home. And then if you are looking at real estate in the central Texas area, again, reach out to me, would be happy to help. And if you can't get enough of these walkthroughs, you want to see a model home with Perry Homes, one of their largest plans they offer, click on the thumbnail that's appearing on your screen. It's the 4891 plan, fantastic plan that they're offering in numerous communities. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.